Playing for Claudio Gonzalez. He has back got figures. Program, he's a back figures to run hat. back to. And Brad could be Thomas set up again. The I think he's a lot closer started. shot at a price. Good Day. Here's a recap of how the day went. In the opener, I like number nine, Uncle Chubb, the wire of the field. He set insane fractions, dueling into the turn on the far side, into the stretch. Four way photo, fourth. In the second race, I like number three, Stone Tastic. Paco Lopez up. I doubled the bet. Right to the front at 4 5. This paddleboard giving chase out of fifth. Another huge break back to Latitude and Eels Grand Finale. And Wildcat Thunder at the back, 21 and 3. Over this fast track today, out of the far turn, Stone Tastic. Stone Tastic opens up to lead by two, shrugs off the other speed. Bamboo stick on the outside has moved into second. Your move is down toward the rail in third. Lots and Tudor with a big move on the far turn. Five wide and just like that is now third with a quarter mile to go. They come off the turn and stone tested. Hand ride, top of the stretch, the lead is three. Latin Tudor's now second and trying to close. Down to the final furlong. Stone Tastic is holding on. <laughs> Second race on the highlight number three, Stone Tastic, right to the front, under wraps. Oh yeah, double the bet. First win on Haskell Day. And afterwards, while I was on the phone talking to Jeff, a guy came up to me out of the blue and said, That is so cool the way you're dressed today. Yes. Oh yeah, had my first winner, got my first compliment. One of several today on my vest and my bow tie. In the third race today, I didn't like anybody, so I passed. So in the fourth race, we were going a mile and a sixteenth on the turf. I like number eight, Picosa. Joe Bravo was up today. I thought he'd sit mid-pack. Instead, he was in the back. Swung five wide, turning for home. He was The fifth race, it was a mile and a sixteenth. I like number seven, Sunset District. Paco Lopez, who's been hot as a firecracker. I thought he'd be up at least third or fourth. Instead, he was way in the back. Never ran a step at two to one. And he was seven. In the sixth race, I like best actor, Paco Lopez again. We were on the turf. He was five to two. Nothing. Sixth again. These races are killing me. In the seventh, it was the grade two Molly Pitcher, the first of five graded stakes. Everybody liked number eight, Natalie Vittoria, Jose Lescano. It's got all the way down to three to two. Everybody thought she'd wire the field. I thought that was an abnormal kind of race. I like Todd Pletcher's majestic river on the outside with Rosie Napravnik to press the pace. It's exactly what she did when they hit the far turn. She looked to have a lot of horse left and the favorite looked to be working hard. Large fractures in there. And they're off. Natalie Victoria bounces out on top. Majestic River, away sharp two. Triple Arch down inside showing some early speed as well. Racing for the clubhouse turn. Natalie Victoria out to be the leader. Majestic River second and outside. Triple Arch settles in third toward the rail. Right there is Montana Native. In and amongst horses from fourth, Zucchini Flowers up close three wide in fifth made up. And Lucky Ragdoll, it's a tight pack around the clubhouse turn. The pace setter is Natalie Victoria. Majestic Rivers just a half a length behind in second. And they head to the back stretch run together. Down inside, Jose Liscano trying to foster out the speed of Natalie Victoria. Half a length here of Majestic River. Second and outside. Montana Natives on hold, dirty toward the rail, coasting along in behind the early speed. Zucchini Flowers alongside that one in fourth, only about two lengths behind backstretch run. Triple Arch down inside, runs in fifth. Lucky Ragdoll made up at the back as they move with a half mile to go. The first half in 47 and three foot seconds. Onto the fire turn, Natalie Victoria still up top. Majestic River comes with a bit more pressure now. Second and outside, and these two are head to head round the fire turn. Montana Native locked and loaded in behind from third. Zucchini Flowers on the outside and fourth. Lucky Ragdoll, Triple Arch, and made up at the back. 
The whip is out on Natalie Victoria. Majestic River has taken the lead with a quarter mile to go. Majestic River off the turn. Montana Native swings wide for the stretch drive. Zucchini Flower triple arching behind them. Lucky Ragdoll made up wide off the turn. Down to the final for long. Majestic River. To Molly Pitcher. Everybody was all over Natalie Victoria, thought she'd walk with it on the front end. I didn't think so. I went against the group with Todd Fletcher's majestic light, frozen traffic, pressing on the outside. Looked like she had a ton of horse into the far turn. Impressive. And I double bet, got back almost $60. The first graded stakes win of the day. Oh yeah, paid a nice eleven eighty, got back sixty dollars. And now I'm on a roll. And the eighth thought Rebo Bobo would bounce back in the Teddy Drone stakes. He was a six to five favorite. Wide into the stretch and third. In the ninth race, it was the matchmaker. I went with a 30 to 1 long shot, number three Lady Aspen for Todd Pletcher. Never been on the turf before, was sitting fourth into the turn. Thought she had a chance, and no, it was 10th. The 10th race was the Monmouth Cup. I thought Easter Gift was going to be a top pick today. Almost up to that because he was the top pick for Kenny Peck, and he was the top pick for Brad Thomas. But I stuck with my double investment. Broke near the back at 3-1. to one. Never ran a step. 8th of 10th. Wow. The 11th was the Ocean Port. I like Todd Pletcher's horse with Joe Bravo. I won't even try to pronounce it. M S H A W I S H, whatever. Two to one. Big middle move. I hate middle moves because there's nothing left for the stretch. And that's what happened. Ran sixth. Then it was time for the featured Haskell invitation. One million dollars on the line. Everybody loved the filly, and so did I. Untappable. Bayern looked to set the pace coming off the seven furlongs Woody Stevens, but you know, he wouldn't get the distance. I thought if anybody beat an untappable, it would be a speed horse that would be pressing Bayern. Big middle move by untappable on the turn, four wide. Bayern forgot to ru keep running. One at nine to two, Bob Baffert's seventh win. Martin Garcia, three wins in the Haskell for three tries. Wow. In the 13th, we were on the turf. I went with 5 to 1 Dark and Dusty with Joe Bravo. Sat 7th the whole way. Nothing. So, if I was going to have any kind of chance at being even, it was the finale. The track had been playing the speed all day. I looked at my pick number two, Idle Spur. My analysis, I said these are just the kind of races that Paco Lopez wins. He looked to be the lone speed on the inside. I was going to have 10 to win. Instead, I went with 20 to win. He was 5 to 1. Man, I'm going to make a killing. But as it got closer to post town, I get bet all the way down to co favoritism to 5 to 2. The gates open right Part to the that, front. Hands, three minutes, hands, bad kick. They're about five lengths behind. Three back to the top the trailer. Round the far turn, Idle Spurs in front. OK Lefty on the outside, cranking up that pressure three wide. Here's OK Lefty putting it in front. Then Eltham fires away between them. These three stacked across the track. Perfect man, three lengths farther back in fourth. Bad game is under the whip in fifth. They come to the top of the stretch. Idle Spur tries to cut the corner. OK Lefty with a big effort today is fighting right by the eight pole. Down inside Idle Spur. OK Lefty outside. Perfect man is third and trying to close. And then it's Alpha. Paco Lopez! Got a way to go, buddy! Oh yeah, 20 to win, paid 720. I got $72 back. Almost brought me even for the day. It's been a great weekend here on the Jersey Shore. A lot of great times. Love seeing the ocean, the big houses. Loved having dinner on the water. It's just a great adventure. Too bad I didn't have a great day here, but it was a great adventure. The next big adventure, I'm in Chicago for the Arlington Million.